All right, so winter is awesome. Today I'm going to talk about why and how photography changed how I work. You know, the way that photography has taught me how to make films is it's essential in how I learned to film stuff. Because the first thing I, I started doing was taking pictures and they sucked. But eventually the simplistic way that photography you know, works in terms of telling stories, you have to kind of simplify things and make it more, you know, Oh, here's the autofocus. Brr. Because of all these particles, maybe. <laughs> okay, anyway. So the way that photography works is that it's really simplistic. So in a way, I think it helps for you to hone in on your style because you have to think about storytelling in a different way. You have to make it more simple and that helps if you want to know what you're doing and learn how to do things. So I use it as a way to develop my style and find new ways of telling stories, for instance. And it works really well because you have to think about you know, how you define a style, for instance, within a film. So with my new film, I'm working towards only shooting everything on like 24 to 35 millimeter uh, on a C300, so a Super 35 sensor. That's a really good limitation to have. And I think that creates a certain style. So I want to use that to kind of hone in on a style. Uh, and that's what photography can help with because you can actually hone in on a style through just using one lens, for instance. Uh, you can do that as a filmmaker too, but it becomes more easy to analyze if you just have one image to analyze what's good, what's bad. And then with the look, of course. Looks is easier to achieve in still photography. And finding photographers that has a definite style is easier if you look at photography, I think. So that's why I love photography other stuff too but that's one of them okay so photography to me is really what helped me hone in on my style basically when I started making films I had no clue of what style I wanted to do like everybody else but then as I kept working as a still photographer like I kept taking picture I kept trying to tell documentary stories that eventually, you know, manifested in something, which is the look probably that I have today or the style to how I do things. So there are two things that really helped me actually to develop my style through photography. One was just trying to tell stories. I realized working with photography that what I like and what I enjoy the most is telling stories with documentary style. So I realized that when I kept taking documentary still photos. I felt like there was some kind of nerve and authenticity in that. And that really has manifested itself into me and my filmmaking and all that that I do today. So eventually I just transitioned into making films and documentary films. But it wasn't until the cameras I felt was good enough. So today, you know, you have cameras that are just as good as stills basically 
or you can at least not feel like it's much worse. So basically I transitioned into filmmaking and that's when I really felt like, oh, now everything falls into place because the way I work with documentaries in terms of a process, that has basically shaped how I worked with film also. So I work as a traditional press type of documentary photographer, basically, as a filmmaker. That's how I tell stories. I usually go alone. I usually do a lot of stuff all by myself, basically like taking the sound and all that. So I had to learn all the crafts of filmmaking in order to do that because I love that process. So that has been like a big, big thing for me in like learning that the process of documentary storytelling that photography has, that's what I'm interested in. Yeah. And the second thing that really helped me was to find a look that I really like. Like what type of look and what type of colors do I like and why do I like them? Analyzing photography really helps you hone in on that. So I was really inspired by a couple of photographers when I started out. And the number one photographer was probably Martina Hoogland Ivanov, which is a really talented uh, photographer that, if you look at my style today, it has similarities in terms of post-processing. So I really love that matte type of black, that moody type of dark images that she creates. And that really, you know, has manifested itself in how I tell stories. So photography in that sense was really what helped me to develop a style. And today I, you know, go back to photography all the time and, you know, look at pictures, analyze them and, you know, see easier and simplified ways of telling stories. Because when you work with photography, you really have to simplify things. And I also think photography, it has this more crystallized way of working. You can work more alone, you can find your own way in a different way than you can do with film. Because you're so dependent on a lot of people. So it can help to kind of find your way of making films. Because you can work with photography in a way where you figure out what you like and what you don't like. And then... From that you evolve, you evolve that into filmmaking. I think that can be an easier way actually to figure stuff out. Uh, because if you have a whole crew and you're depending on them and you, know, you have to do stuff in a different way, that can be difficult. At least I think it's much harder to you know, decide things and push things in that setting. So it's easier to find your style within photography because it's simpler. It's more you deciding things. You're not as dependent. And that can make it easier for you to kind of decide that for yourself in filmmaking too. I think both go hand in hand basically. And especially if you want to find your own style and develop that, then photography can help because it's more visual and it's all visual. So you don't have to think about audio and all that type of crap. This hot tub is actually the first thing I got when we moved here. I moved here about, I don't know, six or eight years ago. Left the city. Have not regretted that a minute. <laughs> 